very good evening to all of you today we will discuss about the very important milling attachments that is the dividing head and the rotary table the generally the dividing head or the rotary table is used to uh, index uh, the workpiece uh, along the rotational direction and the circular direction let's see how it works so first we will discuss about this uh, dividing head uh, it is shown in this uh, diagram the particular attachment uh, generate is fixed with the milling machine and uh, it is used to uh, index the workpiece uh, generally to divide the uh, workpiece into the equal number of divisions uh, an example of this uh, dividing uh, workpiece is the uh, 8 flat nut bolt uh, so the construction of this dividing it it has an uh, three jaw chuck uh, as we can see in general purpose lathe machine also along with this box containing the indexing mechanism uh, in which the warm wheel and the warm gear is there attached inside this box it has the index plate with a number of holes on it and there is this uh, is a sector arm along with is fixed with the crank pin and the crank arm so let's see how it works so it is a very important part of the indexing mechanism that is index plate different index plate uh, have the different number of holes so we will see here the number of holes there are uh, on this index plate uh, so they are generally specific in the manner so here we can see there are different numbers 22, 23, 24, 25 like that others so different index plate has the different kind of the numbers uh, depending upon the application of the indexing so this uh, 22, 23, 24 the indicates the uh, number of holes along that circumferential or the uh, that particular uh, circular uh, length uh, so this 22 indicates the 22 number of holes on this particular uh, circumference of the indexing plate likewise this 23 number 24 and 25 and the others so generally this index head uh, is used to control the rotation of the index head spindle to space or to divide a workpiece in uh, accurately uh, this indexing mechanism consists of 40 teeth warm wheel which is fastened to the index head spindle uh, engaged with a single cut warm a crank for turning the warm shaft and index plate and the sector that we have seen in the earlier diagram so generally there are 40 teeth on the warm wheel that means one turn of the index crank causes the warm and the consequently the index head spindle to make one fortieth of the turn that means if it uh, rotate that crank pin 40 turns then there is a one full revolution of that particular warm wheel let's see how it works so there are different parts of this indexing mechanism so this is a particular called as index head spindle uh, which is used to fix the workpiece on this index head spindle along with uh, that workpiece supported at the other end using the foot stock then uh, there is a driving plate which supports the that index head spindle which is fixed at the end of the this box that is that contains the indexing mechanism it has index head it is also fixed with this index plate sector arms and there is index crank there are number of holes differently as we have discussed earlier on this index plate so this is the indexing mechanism inside the indexing dividing head box there is a 40 teeth warm wheel uh, which is uh, engaged with this warm sh single thread over this uh, warm shaft this uh, warm wheel is attached with the index head spindle over which the workpiece has been uh, mounted this uh, warm shaft is fixed with this index plate having the number of holes uh, as we have seen earlier along with this sector arms then there is index crank to crank the that index plate along with that uh, warm shaft ultimately the rotation of this index crank rotates the this particular warm shaft that is a warm thread and ultimately it rotates uh, the warm wheel having the 40 teeth and it rotates the 
work piece attached with this indexed spindle so let's see some calculation of the indexing the simple indexing uh, the calculating the indexing or number of turns of the crank for the most simply divide uh, 40 by number of divisions or flats to be cut that means how many uh, flat surfaces we require on the workpiece in a rotational direction or the circular direction mostly uh, divide by it is uh, uh, it is divided to the this uh, number of teeth that is a 40 so we'll get the how many turns required for the each flat or the each surface of the workpiece then there is another kind of indexing is called angular indexing uh, so it is uh, not it is it is actually not uh, different from the simple indexing but we uh, consider if you are having the angular application of the uh, machining uh, that means if you can divide the workpiece into the 360 degree of rotation that means if the uh, 40 teeth gear one wheel that means 140 of the 360 degree equals to the 9 degree that means each turn of the crank or the each rotation of the worm wheel belongs to the 9 degree rotation of the workpiece that means turns of the crank uh, in terms of the angle required uh, suppose in uh, required it is in uh, angle then it is angle required divided by 9 so let's see how indexing works direct indexing dividing heads have 40 as to 1 turn ratio that is 40 teeth uh, belongs to the one rotation one full rotation of the uh, worm wheel so let's see the example suppose we want to machine a workpiece that is an octagon shaped workpiece as shown in this diagram that is the eight different surfaces one two three four five six seven and eight so after machining of this space we need to turn or the index this workpiece for the next surface and after this machining this surface again to the next surface and likewise the other surface we want to index so suppose we have to machine this workpiece octagon shaped workpiece having the eight edges or the eight faces so that means we have to divide this 40 uh, by 8 number of flats that gives the 5 as the answer that means 5 rotation of the crank belongs to the one flat surface of the workpiece the next 5 turns of the crank belongs to the next surface and likewise the next surface is E surface required the 5 full rotation of the crank uh, in case if the uh, number of flats required is not divisible to the 40 suppose we want to machine the workpiece into six different parts or the six different flats then dividing 40 by 6 will not give the uh, complete uh, uh, dividing figure that means we will get the fractional number that is uh, 6 uh, 4 by 6 that means 6 full rotation along with additional 4 by 6 rotational required uh, for each face of the uh, hexagonal or the six uh, faced workpiece so how we can do this so it can be done by using this indirect in indexing and uh, now the index plate plays an important role in this case so to do this a plate with a row of holes divisible by denominator of the fraction uh, six that means uh, a multiple of this denominator suppose a plate index plate having the 18 numbers holes on the index plate that means it is a multiple of the 6 so how we can do this so if a plate with the 18 holes if you can use for instance dividing by 6 it gives the quotient 3 that means we can multiply the denominator and the numerator by 3 that will give the 12 by 18 that means we have to turn the uh, crank 12 additional hole after completion of the six full degree or the six full rotations of the crank on the 18 hole plate uh, that is the index plate the second important part of this uh, milling attachment is the rotary table uh, generally uh, 
the mechanism is similar to the dividing head or the indexing head but the application is a little different from the indexing head or the dividing head so in the construction if you can see that there is a surface plate or the table is there a uh, circular table is there over which the workpiece is mounted with the degree graduations on the scale attached with uh, this uh, angular uh, degree graduations along with the sandal so generally it is used to machine uh, the arc or circular paths on the workpiece there are two types of rotary tables that is the angular rotary table and the indexable rotary table so angular rotary table it uh, so as it shows in this diagram it has an um, rotary or the uh, that uh, angular rotating disc attached with the rotary table having the degree graduation on this particular uh, rotating head so basically it is used to uh, rotate the workpiece which is mounted on this uh, rotary table into the particular angle uh, around the 360 degree the second type of the rotary table is the indexable uh, rotary table which is uh, very similar to the indexing head so this part of the indexing uh, plate that we have discussed earlier in the dividing head that is attached with this rotary table then it is called as a indexable rotary table so basically the constant and working is the similar to the indexing head that means uh, it depends upon number of flats required uh, and uh, to rotate that each face of that particular workpiece we use this uh, circular or the index plate along with this crank and the uh, sector arms so we'll see the video of this uh, how we can use the um, that particular dividing head here So see that it is uh, mounted on the um, lathe machine. So this is workpiece is fixed on the table. This is a drilling tool or the particular tool it is fixed in the collet now this is particular crank pin the uh, screw is, has been loosened we are cutting the seven different edges or the faces so we are setting the plunger in any of the 49 hole using this uh, crank pin set the sector arm for 35 holes how why we required the ratio of this dividing head is 40 to 1 that means you can divide by 40 by 7 we will get the 557 that means 5 full rotation of the crank and the extra 5 holes on or the so number we can uh, that is multiple of the 7 that is 49 that means we have to multiply the denominator and numerator by 7 that means gives 5 into 7 is 35 and 7 into 7 that is a 49 that means after full rotation of the 5 full crank rotation we need to give the 35 full hole rotation on the 49 hole index plate so there are 49 there is a 49 hole index plate so we have marked here and we have set this sector arm here so let's see how it works we are losing the now crank now there is a you are facing the one we have set the depth of cut here
and we are mustering the first phase or the first stage so we are mustering the first phase of this seven side or seven flat workpiece Now we require next phase, so we are rotating this crank 5 full rotation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 35 extra holes on the 49 hole bolt circle. So we have fixed it uh, uh, by using these uh, sector arms. Now we are moving and machining the next phase of this 7 flat or the 7 surface workpiece. So we will do this for the each phase of this 7 phase or the 7 surface workpiece. Similarly for the next phase we are again moving it to 5 full crank rotation and 35 extra holes on the 49 hole index plate. We are repeating and repeating again it till the whole complete 7 phases surfaces have been machined. So at the end we will get the 7 surface or the 7 face workpiece. So this is all about the milling attachment that is indexing head or the dividing head and the rotary table. Thank you, thank you very much.